Okay guys, we're gonna do a short update. It's starting to snow a little bit more, so that's what we do. Here we go. Don't wanna hit the skier though. Wow, that's a long, long walk. I should have invited him in. Yeah, so we're snow is picking up, guys. And since all the shops didn't have any of the windshield wiper fluid that's for freezing temperatures, it's big bear and they all they always run out in the wintertime. But I forgot my my one of my best friends owns a shop and I went there and he had some and he, he gave me a bottle. So sweet look, look, woohoo. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a short little this is just gonna be a short little update video because yeah, the beginning of the of the main part of the storm is just getting here. And then at about six o'clock, right now it's 28 degrees and 3.45 p.m. At about six o'clock, we should be getting the heaviest of this storm. But then, but then in the next couple days, that's when we're hopefully driving through some deep, deep snow, just having a blast. But this is still really beautiful. This street is called Evergreen. I, I know you guys hear me talk about it all the time. They have really gorgeous houses on Evergreen. And it's right across the street from my house. But I live in a little 400 square foot shack. My place only cost me 550 a month. So, yeah. All this help you guys are freaking giving me is, is giving me peace of mind. It's allowing me to sleep at night better. I mean, thank God. Thank God for you guys. I never imagined that people would be this helpful and this loving towards me. I'm very grateful for you guys. I am very grateful for you guys. God, this is so gorgeous, guys. Oh my goodness gracious, just incredibly beautiful. So we're gonna drive up here by Snow Summit real quick, and then we're gonna come back down, Brownie Lane, and then end the video. As I said, we're, we're going to make this a shorter video. Oops, let's slow down for this guy. My friend's sister drives, drives, drives one of these big trucks, the big buses in town. Some of them are crazy drivers, but they drive very well in this stuff, even in those big ass vehicles. They kind of remind me of, of the way I drive. I know some of you get upset at, at how I drive. And when you leave comments that are super nasty, like it's, I'm gonna leave a nasty comment right back to you. But if you if you wanna give me constructive criticism, I will listen, okay? I promise you, I will. But when you're calling me names and stuff, I promise you, I promise you, I will, I know two wrongs don't make a right, but I will be 10 times harsher towards you because that's just not cool. Like I'm trying to do a solid for people out here. And to really call me names and make me feel like a piece of crap, like that's just not cool. As I said, two wrongs don't make a right. So like, like my justification right now is there, there is none. There is no rationalization. I should just keep my mouth shut and not say anything and just let them be them because you know, there are people like that in this world, unfortunately. But look at this, here's Snow Summit. So beautiful, especially when all the people are in great, great happy moods. This is beautiful. Yo, no video. No video. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? that little kid yelling, no video, no video. So I made sure I pointed it right at him. <laughs> he wasn't a little kid, he was over 18, so he's in public. It's all good. But yeah, as I was saying guys, like, like, I know sometimes I drive like a bat out of hell. I know I do. And, you know, I am, I am trying. For those of you who have watched this channel for many years now, you'll see I have gotten so much better. I have gotten so much better, but if you're gonna call or, or leave leave comments calling me names and stuff like I promise you don't mistake my kindness for weakness I guarantee you that because I am human too I am human too I have emotions and unfortunately
unfortunately, when I get hurt, it comes out as anger first, just like most people. So just please, 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 if you need to be telling me how to drive, then at least be constructive about it. And we're done with that conversation. And thank you guys for caring about that because it is really, really important because I don't want to hurt anybody. I really don't. Couldn't care about myself really in, in, in this type of a situation. If I crash, I crash, but I don't want to hurt other people. And so I really do appreciate it. It's I hardly get any comments about that, you guys, but it's weird how I'll focus on the on the one or two comments that are so nasty as opposed to the thousands that are so beautiful and so loving. So anyway, thank you guys again for understanding and listening and and just realizing that I, I, I love you guys and I'm happy and want to take your advice. I don't want to disappoint you guys. And last thing I want to do is hurt anybody. So yeah. Anyway, as you guys can see, the snow has been picking up. What you hear, these ambulances and fire trucks, these are all going to pick up people who probably broke bones skiing and snowboarding, unfortunately. When I worked at Bear Mountain, gosh, man, you'd hear it all day, all day long. I wonder where they are. Probably making a left. I wonder if they're making a left here. No, nope, they're going straight, so they're probably going down to Summit Boulevard. So I hope everyone's okay. We never like hearing that stuff, guys. But once again, from the bottom, bottom of my heart, I am really sorry for sometimes how I drive. I'm, I'm not trying to piss anybody off and I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I love you guys, man. And when you guys tell me something, it means a lot to me. And so when it's a mean comment, it hurts my feelings big time, but then I act tough in return because I don't want to be weak and then I say some mean things back and that's just not me I don't I don't want to be like that so anyway this is the short little update you guys I love you guys a lot thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy we'll be back out as soon as it gets heavier as a matter of fact here let's just turn down here real quick and take a look at this real quick here hang on I wanted you guys to see this hotel right here this is like my favorite hotel in the whole town for the most part. That's Western Hotel. Because you have beautiful views back here. It's like you have your own backyard back here. Anyway, you guys take care. Enjoy yourselves. Peace hey out. guys, <laughs> these are the beanies. So I'm gonna post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black. These are all 100% fine merino wool. Different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning. These are stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are, these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love y'all.